guys, so I am taking off and I wanted to let you know the things that I do to my tiny cabin before I leave. I make sure that the windows are closed. I make sure that my renter has a key, but more importantly, I make sure to turn off the propane. Um, that's one of the things that I really do like to do even when I am not leaving for very long. If we're going for longer term, I fold up all the blankets. I make sure that they're in closed containers so that there's not a mouse problem. I put down, uh, what are they called? Spider traps. I put down spider traps for mice and for spiders because as the weather starts to change, uh, the spiders will come into the house more. But if we catch them in the fall, they're not in the house during the winter because uh, they just can't get up and in. They're, they're, they're already where they need to be out in the ground. But it's that kind of starting in September and going through November, that's when you really want to have fly strips, not fly strips, spider traps out. And that way you won't have a problem with mice or with spiders. At least that's what we found. So I have everything ready. I wish it was just a little bit better. Things I have left to do on the cabin for the 10 days that I am back before we go back to Tulsa is I need to put plastic around the porch and I need to finish the greenhouse. We have the pallets up. Now we just need to put the cow panels up and the plastic up so we have a lot to do. So hopefully you'll stay tuned and um, we have our wood ready for winter because we go through so little with the rocket mass heater. Let's see if I can show you in all my mess. There's the rocket mass heater. So the rocket mass heater uses so little wood that the two year supply that would have lasted us in the big house, we haven't even made a dent in it. So we've got all of our wood ready to go. And um, I'm starting to kind of wonder if I really need the outdoor kitchen on the deck. The reason being that our summers really don't get that hot and it's so convenient to use the little Elmira in here. Sorry, let's see if I can show you. The Elmira. We use the propane on the Elmira to cook with. And I don't know. I, I kind of think that an outdoor kitchen would be a really good idea, but not on the deck because that real estate is very prime and it's a little bit hard to um, justify it. But, it. but if I don't have the outdoor kitchen out there with plastic around it, then my propane gets blown out when I'm cooking out there. So... stuff what together. Paige, you got it? Go ahead. We don't need to be in a hurry. We got plenty of time now. So are they going to turn off the lights? Maybe. Thank <laughs> you. 
this is our first foray into our local community and we're really happy with our location. We're getting used to the sounds of dogs and traffic. We're super close to grocery stores that we need and the bike path. And so we're out for a little bit of a walk. Remember how how Terry taught you that you've got to keep their nose tipped in just a little bit yep. and then you move them over with your leg? Oh. Pull her back a little. She's got the ballad. Yeah, she's... <laughs> if you she sit just up, doesn't, doesn't focus. Sit up a little bit too, like when you say whoa and you want her to you know slow down, you have to sit up. I always sit up and take a deep breath. They're super, she's getting pretty sensitive just because I like my guys sensitive. 